Hey friends, I'm Pastor Joe. Today is Friday. Yay! And I have your word for the day. When I was a child and I wanted to try to manipulate people around me, I would typically say something like, you don't really care about me. You don't really love me. And I would say that to try to make them feel guilty and perhaps demonstrate that they actually do care about me by doing something for me. Are you really convinced that God does care about you? I mean, in, in your core, in your heart, do you really believe that God cares about your basic needs? So in Exodus, God had given the Israelites their freedom, but God's care for the Israelites didn't stop with their freedom. In Exodus 15, the Israelites found water to drink as they were wandering around, but the water was not suitable to be consumed. It was bitter. The water was terrible, and the Israelites couldn't even choke it down with their parched throats. So Moses asked the Lord for help. And you know what God did? He didn't tell the Israelites and Moses, hey, look, I've set you free. Now you're on your own. He turned that bitter water into good water, and God quenched the thirst of the Israelite people. So that means for you and I, if you've been set free from sin, if you've experienced a life-changing relationship with God through Jesus, if you have been forgiven and you have been made new, God's not done with you. God has not finished taking care of you. God doesn't only care about your soul, but God cares about your basic needs as well. He cares about you and God will provide for you when you're hungry, when you're thirsty, when you're exhausted, when you're at your wits and when you're frustrated, you matter to him and your needs matter to him. And God will provide for you physically just as, as he has done for you spiritually. So keep walking in faith, keep trusting him and watch how much God loves you by how much he provides for you. If today's word for the day has blessed you, like it, share it, or leave a comment. God bless.